Julio, as someone with an introverted personality, you have experienced a lot of anxiety over the years, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as I was saying before, uh, you know, people and crowds and things like that can can make me very anxious. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, and that has a negative effect in sort of everywhere in life. So even with jobs and, you know, presentations or mm. meetings or meeting new people and stuff like that, it's just, it, it can all be very overwhelming. It'll right. be a very overwhelming thing. Uh, and, you know, and if I look at a lot of my friends who I surround myself with, it's quite interesting. A lot of my friends are all extroverts. Right. Uh, and it's and, and they all guess I, I I guess they know I'm an introvert because they've got no problem starting a conversation and getting married. and whilst I've got no problem having a conversation where where I find it the awkwardness is always the beginning the starting bit and the uh, and they're like you know sitting there in silence and stuff like that and not really you know not you know what to say to the other person and that can all be very overwhelming and quite anxious and stuff like that and then if you allow it to which i think i allowed it to in my life was it can breed into sort of all areas and then it just sort of makes you then not want to engage oh, yeah. and it can make you just want to be like it's a lot easier just to shut yourself off be on your it own is. yeah isolate yeah. yourself you don't really want to deal with that you don't really want to sort of deal with people and stuff like that. and because and then you get into your own head and then you start thinking people don't want to hang out with you, people don't want to be around you, mm. you've got nothing to offer people and stuff like that. And it just Almost becomes, like a a, yeah, it becomes a dangerous cycle where actually you just start, you know, you start believing the bullshit that you tell yourself about, you know, about that you're not good enough and yeah. you're not this and you're not that. Um, so I just had to sort of, I guess, it, you know, again, sort of, the, with moving forward in life from and, and coupling that with the whole childhood things of teachers telling you you weren't good enough yes, you yes, sort of couple yes. that all together and then you've just got this yeah. Yeah. this thing that you believe yeah. and, and can I just ask you like yeah. how, how did that manifest itself like you did say about isolating yourself mm -hmm. but would you internalise it like would you be like where Eugene is now where you externalise it you would cry it out and vent it out oh, and speak to people or would you go no, in no, no, and it would be, shut down it would be total shut down total taking everything from the outside and bringing it in inside mm. in the world Into so that man case, yeah kind of. absolutely so you you know you'd go and have a business meeting for argument's sake and then you'd come home and then you'd be sitting there going oh i said the wrong thing about mm. this i said this i shouldn't have said this i shouldn't have done this and then you're just telling yourself everything that you've done wrong yeah. in a thing and then it would be the same if you just went and had a conversation with mate oh i hope he didn't get offended when i said that and blah blah and then again you're just sort of feeding this and feeding this sort of beast and and it, yeah you Again, it just you just got to sort of have this down downward spiral. So, what's been the turning point then for you, Julia? Um, do you know something? I think I got to a place where I realised I didn't know who I was, mm. and I had to figure out who I was, and I had to get to a place where I was okay with who I was. Yeah. Mm. Because yeah. yeah, absolutely. Because like. If you don't, you end up then doing things which are which was almost not what you're intended to do, which are not your character. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm in property. So a lot of time, people will tell you in property, get yourself out to networking events. Mm -hmm. You go to any sort. There's loads of property networking events all up and down the country, and people are always saying, "Go to networking, go to networking events." Now, if I didn't know myself, and if I didn't know my personality and what I was good at, I'd be out there trying to force myself to yeah. be someone I'm not in these networking events yeah. and a crowd full of 30 people going up to people, introducing myself, hi to this. It's like the worst thing you could ask me to do. Mm. Even now, it's just like, I'm just not, no thanks. Yeah. Like, so, but because I know myself about that, I go, well, that doesn't work for me as a person. So I need to find something as a person that works for me. Now I'm <laughs> much better at one-on-one, -on -one. much, much better at one-on-one. -on -one. So I don't bother wasting my time with network events. If I need something doing, or if I need to get somewhere, I'll find somebody who I can talk to and I'll just pick up the phone and I'll have a conversation with them. Mm -hmm. And that works for me much better mm. than, <laughs> Uh, doing what the crowd tells you yeah, to do exactly. but I wouldn't have found that out if I hadn't have gone through this journey of self-discovery yeah. so I had to use things like strength finder mm. like Myers-Briggs yeah. like wealth dynamics mm. you name personality mm. tests I've done yeah. them all yeah. just because I really wanted to know so who am I yeah. and what do I like and what yeah. don't I like and it also sets and you free in a way doesn't absolutely it? Because you go, oh my gosh so yeah. me being like that I don't yeah. need to beat myself up for that Perfect. that's just part of the personality absolutely. I have and absolutely. it's about creating the, wow. the, 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 the 
like yeah. mechanisms in place, as you just rightfully said, to because go, I, can, I don't need to be that person. I can just absolutely. operate a different way. Absolutely, because yeah. I can just stand still and I can go, actually, I'm not going to do that because yeah, that's not that's for not me. Yeah. And I, but but, the, but what the freedom part is, is I'm okay to say, I'm not going to do yes. that. That's not for me. Yes. Where the old me would have gone, I really need to do that because everyone else is doing yeah. that. And yeah, if I don't yeah, do it, yeah. Like there's something wrong with me, yeah. right? And that's actually the freeing part yeah. of all of that. So yeah. Julio, this is um, really encouraging. Your journey is really encouraging, and I'm sure if there were men out there watching or women, um, if you were to give them a word of encouragement. I think the first thing is anybody has to do before they go on this journey of self-discovery is just get to a place where I'm okay with me. That is number one. Once you're okay with me, then you can start finding everything about your personality and what you like and what you don't like. And you can agree to this, you cannot agree to that because you're okay with you at that point. And that is the key, I think, for me was to sort of overcoming a lot of the anxiety stuff I suffered with. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. That social anxiety um, developed into deep depression. That deep depression developed um, I, I, I suffered daily suicidal thoughts all day, every single day. It was all that my mind would go to. Um, like if I, how many years was that? I, I had over 10, 10 years, years of like every single day suicidal yeah. thoughts. It was all I could think about. Yeah.